Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Mendeley desktop application to add and manage easily references in your scientific document, such as a thesis or a, a research paper. Now, I've, in the previous video I already showed you how to install, how to add references to the Mendeley desktop, and now I'm going to show you how to use these references in LibreOffice. And uh, later I will also show you how to do the same thing in Word very shortly. But before you can use it in LibreOffice, which I have here, uh, you must add a plugin. And the plugin can be installed in the Mendeley desktop in the tools menu. So if you are using Windows and you have Word, there is probably an install Word plugin as well. This is a Linux, so we don't have the Word here, but um, the same, same uh, place you can use. So you just click it, and if everything goes fine, the LibreOffice plugin is installed. You may have to restart the LibreOffice. I'm just going to quit it and restart it. And now you can see that a few buttons appeared here. This um, Mendeley toolbar appeared. You've got things like insert citation, undo edit, merge citations, insert bibliography, which will add you a list of references that you are using in your document. Very useful. Uh, refresh, choose citation style for different journals or conference papers. Usually use different style of citing and there is also a way to do um, exporting MS Word compatible um, text or file. Okay, but let's say I'm, I'm going to add here a few references. So I could add here, so for example, Exer Gaming has been shown to be efficient um, for motivation of children towards exercise. So I want to add here references. Um, some studies that support this claim. So I can do very easily just insert citation. And now here, um, I should write author name or maybe something about the title. So if I write excerpt game, I can see different citations, uh, different references that I have in my library. Or if you know the author name, say, um, who, who was the, there was a Müller, or who was it? Um, let's see. I'm going to cancel this. Oh, no, I don't have Miller. I have um, Gao. I have Smith. So let's add Gao and Smith there. Even though Smith didn't really write anything about the uh, Exer Gaming. So Smith, you select that, and then you can add another one, Gao. And let's add also Abraham. Say I have three references to support this claim. I can add it here. And now you can see those ones are added automatically. And never edit these manually. They are managed by the Mendeley, so don't edit manually. Otherwise, your manual edits can be lost later. So that's one way to add. You can add one or more references in this style. So you have text and then parentheses and then some citations. And now another way is to say, for example, Smith and Jones argued that and then you write some text and now here I want to add just a year after this. I don't want to add Smith and Jones but I can if I do this Smith you can see that it adds actually this Smith and Jones but I, I don't want Smith and Jones both so the intuition would probably tell you okay I'm going to manually delete this stuff but it will appear later if you do it manually. So instead of doing it manually, we go here, we right click, or not right click, sorry, we just select here, just put the mouse anywhere here, click insert citation, it's actually going to edit mode. You can see Smith here. You click Smith, and this is important, suppress author. Now this way, the author name will be removed and the only the year will appear. I don't know why it jumps to the des desktop. Uh, maybe it's only my computer. But now you can see that this number, the year only appears. And if you want to change it back, again, click Smith, remove suppress author, and you get Smith and Jones back. And again, I remind you never edit these gray areas manually because they are automatically managed by Mendeley. Okay, let's add uh, one more. Say in un, uh, in other studies, blah blah blah. So I'm going to add also here these uh, other missing 
references. So we have a go, we have Smith and Jones, we have Abraham, and so we are Daly and Grunbeck. Okay, don't know how to type the Grunbeck. Oh, here it is. What was the other one? Daily. So those things I added to. So now I have used all my references that I want to use. And I want to add a list of references at the end of the document. So, so you might have um, a section here called references at the end of the document where you want to generate a list of references. Instead of adding them manually, you can just click one button, insert bibliography, and boom, you have it. And the beauty of this is that if I now add more references, say uh, I'm going to add a new reference to here, so I have this um, a bunch of papers. So let's say I'm going to add Stiano. And I want to add now this Stiano to my document. So I simply go here, Stiano and Calvert insisted that now I'm going to add here Stiano. It appeared here. And I don't want to use the name, so I'm going to suppress the author, only use the year. And now, okay, I could save it. You can see that Stiano was also added. And by default, this in this style that is using it, it's all alphabetic order. It doesn't matter if I put Stiano last or second or first, the reference list is in alphabetic order. Now, what if your journal is using different style? Now, this is probably APA style or something like that. We can also choose the citation style here. So yeah, so this is using the APA um, sixth edition. But say I'm I'm writing an um, engineering paper, so maybe I'm I'm using IEEE style or Harvard style or, or something else. So let's select IEEE style, and if your style is not here, you can get more of them and add them here. But um, these are most common styles. So let's use IEEE. And you can see that, oh, now we are using numbers instead of names. And they're also the numbers are used in the reference list. So just by a couple of clicks, you can change the entire style of references. And these references are formatted in a completely different way now, because it's following IEEE style. So this is really, really useful. You don't have to mani uh, manually edit the references anymore. Just in one place, you edit them, and that's here in Medley Desktop. And when you're writing the paper, your thesis, whatever, here you only add the references, you never edit them manually. If you, if you see that, okay, here the name is incorrect or the year is incorrect, don't edit here. Go here, the Mendeley desktop, do whatever edits you want here, save, well, actually it saves automatically, and then perhaps you need to update the list. Um, there is a refresh button here that allows you then to update. Say, um, okay, I'm going to change the um, Smith & Jones year to 2017 to 2016. So let's go to Smith & Jones 2016 and verify that it's changed. And let's go back here. It's still 2017, but if we keep refresh, now it's 2016. It's very, very useful. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to enable this in uh, Microsoft Word. Just a moment, I need to start my virtual machine. Okay, now I have uh, Windows open here and I've made a little desktop as well. I, I logged in with the same account, but somehow I don't have the articles here. Well, there's one thing that when you're moving between computers or when you're working together with other people, before others or yourself can use it in other place, you have to click one button here, sync. This will synchronize your library to the cloud. It will take a few seconds depending on how big your library is, but eventually it will be in the cloud. And when it's done, you can then download it from the cloud to your other computer or your colleagues can download if you're sharing and so on. Okay, now this is going to take a while it seems. But in the meanwhile, let me show you how to install the Word plugin. So if you are in the Microsoft Windows, and you use Microsoft Word, the tools 
menu will have now install MS Word plugin. Just click it and it's installed and now you can launch Word. You can open a new document and go to references and here you also have this little area section here for Mendeley. So similar buttons than in, in LibreOffice, insert citation, refresh, undo, insert bibliography, um, change citation style, slightly different user interface, but the same functions. So I'm not going to show you how to do things here, or, or perhaps I can, but uh, let's uh, sync first. Okay, now it's synced, it's done. We click the sync button also here. We should be able to get the same documents. You see, now we have the same, exactly the same documents and it's also going to download the PDF files. Okay, so let's uh, add here, say, Abraham uh, suggested that. And now I'm going to add reference here. And I don't want the author's name. And there you go. So this is really, really useful tool when you work on multiple computers, multiple uh, word processors, work with other people, which I'm going to show you next video. So now you sh should have an idea how to use Mendel desktop, manage your references in an efficient way. Um, in the next video, as I told you, I'm going to show you how to collaborate with this Mendeley desktop, how to create a group and how to share the group with other people in order to collaborate in an efficient way. Thanks for watching.